Augustine is with us. He's in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Hi, Augustine. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? So I'm 21, and I bought a house this January before I turned 21 because I really wanted to. Like That was my goal in high school. And uh, so I did it, but now work has been really up and down. And so every once in a while, like I'll have a trouble p- making the payments. So I want to make extra cash rather than just working. But the house has made about $100,000 in equity in the last seven months. So my question is, should I sell it and have more to put down on a regular down payment, like a bigger down payment on a different house or like use it as an Airbnb style or something else like that. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work on elevators. Mm-hmm. What's your extra job? Um, I my second I was working at a um, at a marina for a second job when it was slow. Now work's been work's picking back up, so I'm I'm making <clears throat> I make thirty eight an hour right now at the elevator job, which is like it's a good job but it's just kind of sketchy. So I was just curious. Mm-hmm. What do you mean by sketchy as far as the well, volatile? So the, it's volatile? The, the, yeah, it's volatile. It's, since uh-huh. it's, it's considered construction work. It goes up and down with the amount of work that we're able to pull in. Yeah. So when work is good, like when we have a lot of um, big jobs or whatnot, work is great and I can't complain and payments are super easy and I have no struggles. But when it's slow, like when, like we finish a big job and it's like slow for a month or so and it's like, okay, well now, what now should I, I really, it comes, I think it comes down to a budgeting question, but I I think it comes a down to a career there. question because yeah. you're never going to be able to establish a life with a income that is not, that is not steady enough that you can, you know, make enough money during the year to eat, right? Sure. Because here's the thing: yeah. if, if it doesn't matter if, if you have some down, if you have some months that the income disappears, uh, as long as you have enough months that it doesn't, and the overall year average for the year is still an excellent income. I mean, if you make five hundred thousand dollars a year, you don't. But if you make five hundred thousand dollars a year and you have two months with no income, it's not a big deal, right? Right. So the point is, you're not making any money. It's not just the volatility, it's the overall income is not enough to support you. They're not working you enough to where at the end of the year when you add it up, you had a good job. That's what I'm saying. So I think you got a career problem. I don't think you got a house problem. And you may need to sell your house to step into your next career, or you may need to look for a different place to uh, apply your trade um, because you you know 38 bucks an hour is pretty sweet income. Uh, but not if you're not getting it. Right. So, I mean, if you're 31, you don't need to be making the same phone call with the same income problem. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. So you got to solve the career problem, and then that'll tell you what to do with the house. No, you don't do Airbnb. You either get this career thing solved and keep the house, or you sell the house, put the money in the bank until you get the career thing solved. One of those two things. But the last thing you need some other goob living in your house and while you're trying to pay payments, and maybe they don't show up because of COVID. And, you know, maybe Idaho decides to lose its dadgum mind like some of these other places. And now you're just shut down. And you don't need all this risk, man. You're 21. you got got 100000 bucks on the table. Take your money and run. Sit, sit over there in an apartment and get yourself solved. Or get yourself solved and keep the house. One of the two is what I would do. Yeah, we need some stability here and a financial foundation. I don't know if you have any debt, but if you do sell the house, I want you to make sure you're following the baby steps, you clean up the debt, you have an emergency fund. That way, when you get into a house again, you're not going to be having this problem where you're having anxiety about being able to afford the payment in case something goes bad, in case you know you can't find some work. But I do think you need to find a career that's stable with a steady paycheck right now at your age. Yeah, it is a bit. Um, I had trouble not laughing. His, his income goes up and down in the elevator business. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I missed that. That I'm was just, way over I'm, my head. I'm just, I just, yeah, that was, stri- yeah. That's, no, no that's clever. Yeah, that's, well, it's, it is what happened. I mean, it's. <laughs> that's the business. It goes up and Bada down. Bada bomb. That's a Papa Dave joke right there.